Hi everyone, Armored Pants here, and we have the next video for you in the French TD line, the Tier 9 Fock. And uh, fuck me, what a great tank this is, it is super. We're gonna have a look at the tech spec first, and we use Blitzhanger.com as always. Now this is simply a brilliant tank destroyer, it's a brilliant tank. It's the best tank in the whole line by far. Um, it maybe is the best tank in tier 9, maybe it's the best tank in Blitz right now. I mean, I just loved playing this tank, I have to say. Um, can't praise it enough. In terms of um, provisions, um, you might want to use Can Pate, it gives you better view range and better rate of fire. Um, but then you may prefer to use the protective kit, it's really up to you, I prefer to uh, have the faster rate of fire. 120mm gun in this is super, 6 point second reload, gives you really great DPM, it's over 3000 per minute. You can just pump damage out in this tank. Um, you get 260mm of pen with that gun, you get 320mm of APCR, so you're going to go through pretty much anything, even front on with APCR. So load that up, you're going to need it if you're up tiered, because you're going to be up against E100, Jagdpanzers, etc. Um, now the uh, 340 plus DP with APCR, and AP is uh, 400 to 500 is your max roll. Um, which is really good when you consider you have a 6.9 second reload. HE gives you 65mm of pen, so it's going to go through the back and sides of most medium and all light tanks. And that's going to give you 5, 15 plus damage points, so you can really pump damage in this thing. And um, you've got a 1067m per second muzzle velocity uh, that goes up to 1387m per second with supercharge, and it's 1734 in APCR, which is pretty impressive. It's very good for a TD even at tier 9. Rate of fire is just awesome, as I said, gives you uh, 3000 plus DPM. Um, we're going to have a look at the gameplay, you can just see, you can just do lots of damage in this tank. It has 6 degrees of gun depression, which is not great, um, it has 18 in elevation, so I mean, the tank is not OP, it does have some limitations, gun depression being one of them, but it does 50 kilometers per hour in a forward uh, speed, it does 13 in reverse. This means it is lightning quick, because it also has a great power to weight ratio. This tank can move, it can shift. And you can play this tank as a traditional TD, or you can play it as a medium tank. Concealed numbers are decent. Um, so a tank with 310 meters of visibility has to come within 237 meters of you to spot you up if you're still and not firing, which is pretty decent. Um, and about 310 is kind of like the top, 310, 313 is the top view range on light, on light medium tanks at tier nine. Now, the armor profile in this tank is just fantastic. Fucking fantastic fuck. It is just brilliant. Of course, it only has armor on the front, right? But if you get front on to the enemy, and you can keep front on them because traversing this tank is fantastic as well. You're going to see me get into a brawl in one of the games with an RU251. He cannot get around me. This tank is just traverses really well. And with this frontal armor, you will bounce shots all day long. If you're top tier in this thing, you can be a front on bully. You will bounce shots all day long in this thing. If you are up tiered, even so, you're still going to get some bounces. This tank can hold its own when it's up tiered, it's not a problem. It really, really is an effective tank. Um, its speed, agility, traverse, its rate of fire, and its frontal armor make this tank a fantastic tank it is a pleasure to play i really really enjoyed playing this tank and strange enough by the way even though i've played 60 or 70 thousand games and blitz now maybe more this is the first time i've ever played this tank and um, i never really went up the french td line until i was asked to do the videos and boy was i missing out because this is a brilliant tank i can't recommend it enough guys get it play it it is fantastic you won't regret it you can play it as a traditional TD, you can play it as a medium tank. You'll see in the game we're going to look at Dead Rail, I play it as a medium tank. It just has a whole variety of options, it's great fun, it's really reliable. And you will have just fantastic games and you can do lots of damage. Doing 2.5 to 3k games is no problem in this. Um, doing 3 plus k damage, even 4k in games is no problem in this tank, it really is superb. Get it, you're not going to regret it um, and play it because it's only a matter of time, I think, before it gets nerfed. Because there's going to be guys complaining about this 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 tank because it really is very effective. Um, so get it now and play it while you can. Hopefully it won't get nerfed, be, uh, but you never know. 
generally things do get nerfed when enough people complain about them. In terms of tactics, as I said, you can play the traditional TD because the gun is great. Um, and you'll see me playing as a traditional TD in the second game. But then you can also play as a medium tank because it's fast mobile. You can go and support your heavies. You can do whatever you really like in this tank. It's just great. Okay, let's have a look at the gameplay. And um, the first game is Dead Rail. And we're going to have a look at me playing this tank more or less as a medium tank. So what I decide to do is here I go traditionally on the medium light tank route. And I go up towards C to cap that. I've had a look at the... Um, um, uh, set up I see that um, I've seen that um, it's unlikely that there's going to be a huge challenge at sea so I just decided to put on the afterburners go ahead for letter and um, I am going to uh, go towards C so basically playing as medium tanking see how fast it is right it's actually faster than and takes off quicker than a lot of medium tanks and um, you can see in terms of um, provisions I run uh, sorry um, uh, equipment I'm running um, two repair kits and the adrenaline um, I run two repair kits just um, because I don't like getting tracked, uh, especially if you get perma tracked out in the open. You saw in the armor profile its back is very vulnerable, the sides are very vulnerable, you will get HG'd. You can be one shotted if you're caught in the butt by something with a big gun like a Death Star or a Yagaru or something like that. Now, I've capped C, so now I'm going to do a little bit more of a traditional TD roll. So, what I decide to do is I go up here, I'm going to balance pop out onto the promenade here and I'm going to balance out here and I'm going to see what pops up and there is a lot of targets out there nice field of fire pop one into the Yag Tiger and um, pop another one into him you can see the rate of fire is great you know just super and um, and in this position here and I've opened up some really nice rates of fire I'm just gonna pump damage into the enemy drop the adrenaline I always drop the adrenaline early in games uh, where I have good field of fire just so I can put as much damage in as possible into the enemy um, now I'm firing on spec here but I'm guessing that tiger hasn't moved and then I get my reward there we go one kill now um, I have um, a very interesting brawl coming up now with an RU251 and it's going to show you the versatility and the um, uh, mobility and brawling power of this tank now he puts one round into the side of me right as i said side on at the back this is vulnerable but now i'm front onto him and now he is not going to pen me again there we go one bounce i pretend i'm going down towards him i feign bam and um, i can use my frontal armor to ram him and i'm just gonna shoot ram shoot ram until he's gone and just look how quickly i'm able to get rid of this ru251 just Bam, ram, bam, ram, gone. Um, you know, just this tank is just awesome. You know, you know, he's trying to he's trying to get around me, he's trying to use the speed and agility, he gets tracked, he gets stuck, he gets rammed, you know, and then having dispensed with that little nuisance, I'm going back up to sea uh, to continue my uh, sniping. So here we are, we are two and a half minutes into the game and um, I've already done uh, almost 3k damage. And that's what you can do with this tank, you know. And you saw there also front on you can ram in this tank, especially against something with light armor like the RU. And that poor RU, he just didn't stand a chance. Honestly, this tank is just so good. Um, you know, you just saw it there. I mean, the RU251, one of the best circle of death brawlers that there is in the game. With its speed and its agility, its rate of fire, and that uh, 100, uh, over 100 uh, millimeters of pen on its HE rounds. But he just, just didn't have a chance. Um, now again you see the speed of this tank I'm able to you're able to get around get into positions I'm, I want to open up other fields of fire here and this tank can do that you know it can really just get around the map really easily the speed of it is just fantastic now fluff a shot here I'm trying to basically what happened here is um, I rushed I rushed I'm rushing my shot and the reason is because we're in real trouble in this game and um, uh, you know my teammates didn't really do much and I was trying to clear off that tank to go and help them and in, clear, and in rushing my shot I actually uh, fluffed it so I had to wait so I lost all that time through my own impatience I also make bad shot selection here coming up um, and I completely missed this and um, yeah this is not my finest hour I also load up an HG thinking I might get a big alpha roll on him and I don't I got, got low alpha roll so switch back to AP 
Now we are down to Klavanov situation. By the way, you see this WT there, he's calling me a noob. This is often the case in games, you get this players who themselves are not very experienced or very good at the game. They're not paying attention to the game, they're not seeing what's going on, they're not seeing what their teammates are doing. They see that you're the only tank left and therefore by definition you must be a noob, right? He hasn't been playing, he hasn't been watching the gameplay unfold or watching what his teammates are doing, right? But anyway, I digress. It happens all the time. Um, doesn't bother me. Um, I let the gameplay speak for itself. Um, I don't bother answering. Um, I never get involved in uh, discussions with people in game, and I also don't bother um, uh, messaging people after games, and I don't respond to messages that I get because uh, everybody has bad games sometimes, right? Um, I just I just block people who send me nasty messages. Uh, <clears throat> I think that you know, but I, we've had look, we've had videos and that, etc. There's nothing she can do about it. But you know, really. Um, I think it says more about people like that than it does about you yourself, right? By the way, I'm going to win this game, I'm going to get a mastery game, and I'm going to get Kolobinov, and I carried this game massively for the team. So, um, I don't know what he was really talking about. But as I said, some players, they just see you as the only player left, and therefore you must be a new. Um, now, I do get a bit lucky here, um, but I know that with my rate of fire, I know that that T30 has a massive reload time, and I'm able to use the rock. Um, and I just survived by the skin of my teeth to get the Kolobin off. What did I have left there? 34, uh, <laughs> 34 hit points left. But there you go, look at that carry, 5.3k of damage. And um, the next nearest is 1.7 in the E75. The WT himself did nothing to contribute to the win. Um, but hey, I'm the nail brain. Um, but you can see there just how effective this tank is, it just gets around the map, it is really really good. Uh, do you saw the frontal armour at play there, okay I know the RU doesn't have such a big gun, but you, when you play this tank you'll see you'll get bounces off big guns as well, you know. Um, you will get bounces front on, especially if you're wiggling, jiggling, moving that, giving them that was really acute angles, you're going to get bounces. But you saw how effective this tank is, I mean just, you know, any tank that can carry a game like that is really, really good tank. Now, we're going to have a look at Canal, this is another mastery game, another over 5k of damage. In this one, um, I'm up tiered, so what I decide to do, generally when I'm up tiered in this tank, I usually play it a bit safer, I play a more traditional TD role, I don't play as a medium. So anybody who's watched a lot of my videos will know that on this map I love going to A when I'm in a TD, especially if I'm in a TD that can move, um, because it's you get a great firing position um, if you can get up onto A and dominate there. So that's where I'm going, and um, as it turns out, We've been spotted. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting, being, being uh, taking some hits. I'm going to take a hit here as I move along and to the side. You see here it's coming up. I'm just going to get smashed here, and you can see just how uh, vulnerable the tank is in the sides and back. That is a major weak point for it, so you just need to be aware of that. But front on, it is where it excels. And look at the difference when I'm front on. Big bounce from the M103. Come back into him. Another smash one into him there. You know, front on this tank is in its element, you know, and you can see just a big bounce from him. Um, he's just not able to pan front on, you know. Uh, this tank just really is almost OP when it's front on. And it allows me to put one into him, back off again. And now I'm going to put one into him. He's occupied by my allies, put another one into him, uh, reduce him down, and then let my allies uh, clear him off. I'm coming in for kill, but my allies clear him off, so that's good. And uh, clear off the guy underneath too. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset camo, count out, count out to 11 seconds. Reset my camo, because I don't want to pop out um, when I'm spotted. I've reset my camo, I've now I'm unspotted. And I'm going up to the top here, to this position, which you've seen me play loads of times, right? When I'm in a TD, I, I love playing in this spot. This on the top of the hill on the other side, that D, are great positions for TD. And once you get up there and then look, you see just the red, the, the fields of fire just open up for you, you have abundance of targets. Um, and you know, you can just put damage in here, you know, till the cows come home. This tank has a great rate of fire as you can see, and you're doing anything from 350 up to 500 damage each, each 6.9 seconds. It's just fantastic, right? 
and you know this tank i really just can't say how good it is it's just i really enjoyed playing this it was such a surprise for me too because as i said for whatever reason even though i've played so many games and across all accounts i never went up the french td line before i don't know why um but i uh, and if you know i did a video on the fuck 155 but i used somebody else's game footage um, because they had a mastery game, so I just decided to use it to do um, a quick review. And then I'm going to do, um, I play and played the Fock 155 myself as well. So I'm going to do another review after after this one on the Fock 155, which is a good tank, but it is not as good as this. Um, this is just the best tank in the line by far. As I said, it's the best tank in the line, maybe even the best tier 9 tank there is. It's just great. Um, can't praise enough. I would definitely say get it. Um, obviously look you know I'm only giving you my opinion as always guys feel free to disagree and I'm sure some of you like would lo love other tanks the standard B which is a great tank the E50 you know and the IS-8 I'm sure so, uh, some of you will say that they're the best tanks in tier 9 and I'm not going to disagree with you because you're entitled to your opinion and not all tanks suit everybody right people have different different views right again of course you know the thing about blitz is it is a it is a very technical game with lots of statistics etc Um, you know like the muzzle velocities the armor profiles all the numbers that we look at here but at the end of the day it is played by humans and therefore it is subjective um and different tanks suit different people and people have bogey tanks right for example the t44 100 is one of my bogey tanks i do not play well in that tank even when i got a mastery game it was in a loss as you saw in my review of it right just some tanks are just bogey tanks you just don't do well and the is6 was one of those for me and um, i just don't like it at all even though it's a great tank right um, and it's just just the way it is but this tank i love and i and i i strongly recommend that you might get it guys because um you won't regret it, and it's something you should have in your garage it's also a go-to tank if you're not playing very well or you need a you need to some win rate repair go out on this baby and just um you know load up on the damage yeah so you can see here in this game now um it's almost five uh, 4.5k damage done something like that and um now i'm gonna roll down i know i'm gonna take a hit from him but i don't mind because i have a much better um rate of fire and I said, conserve my hit points. And then you see my traverse, he doesn't have a chance. Bam, gone. And there we go, another over 5k of damage in that game. And as you saw there, almost 5.4k damage. As you saw there, I did play a more traditional TD role in it, going to A and then playing as a TD more than as I did in the first game, playing as a medium tank. But that's because I was up tiered. So when you're up tiered, you're up against bigger guns. It's better to maybe play it a bit safe. But you can see, even as a tradition as a TD, it is super, it's so effective. I mean, this tank can just pummel the enemy. And you can do massive carries. Like, there you go, two, uh, two games in this tank, over 10k damage. I mean, how many tanks can you say that about? I mean, you know, it's just, it's just a phenomenal tank. Um, high caliber, um, top gun, sniper badges, um, confederate, you name it, they're gonna come, those, those, uh, steel wall, these, uh, badges are gonna come with this tank, because this tank is just super, guys. So let's have a recap, super duper, ammo trooper, um, this is an awesome TD, just get this tank, that is all, I can't, uh, just stop the review there, just get it. Um, you won't be disappointed as trollish frontal armor especially if you're top tier you just go front in use the traverse to keep your front armor pointed at the enemy it's agile and mobile as you saw it gets around the map no problem whatsoever 120 millimeter gun is just beautiful the dpm is just awesome it's just a damage machine um, the 1387 millisecond of muzzle velocity and AP and HG with supercharge is really good. It allows for um, sniping from distance. It does have a limitation. It's gun depression is only 6 degrees. It's 18 elevation, so be aware of that. The sides and back are also very vulnerable. You saw me taking hits. And at the sides and back, a big gun like a, a Death Star or something like that can one-shot you. So that's why I would run two repair kits. You don't want to get stuck out in the open. I know I say, somebody actually pointed out I say that a lot in my videos. Um, but yeah, but it's true, isn't it? For so many tanks. Just get this tank, play it. You're going to love it. It's super, super tank. 
And to accompany that, we had some super, super music, uh, also French. So we had saint Cian, Danse Macabre, and Offenbach, Orpheus and the Old World, the Can-Can, which is Orpheus and his departed but much-loved wife dancing for eternity together. A beautiful piece of music accompanied by a very lively piece of music. Both French, both fantastic, like this tank itself. So cheers much, thanks for watching, I um, hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful, and I hope you enjoy playing this tank as much as I do, and I guess all that remains for me to say is, pants off.